Good day everybody, this is your host Ali Rato from Techart TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can customize your layout for Contact Form 7 on WordPress. If those of you who have used Contact Form 7, you know if you install the default one, it just shows you a vertical format. You can do styling on the form but you can't actually change the layout. So I'm going to just show you a quick way where you can customize the layout of the form and uh, change either global forms or a single one as per your requirements so stick around i'll be back after the short intro And welcome back, guys. I am Ali Rato from Techpro TV. For those of you who have been hearing my lovely manly voice in the previous videos, I've just put a face to my voice, and here I am. So, this is uh, I'm just going to kick it off the tutorial. So, this is a very fresh install of uh, WordPress. We've just installed basic um, Elementor and other free plugins that you guys can use. Um, we don't have contact form yet, so this is our uh, women's rights blog that's been run by our uh, female division. So I'm just going to quickly kick it, kick it off. So the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to go to plugins and click install plugins. So my understanding at the moment is that you know a little bit about WordPress. So you've installed WordPress. You've gone to uh, the plugin section. I'm going to click add new plugin. And I'm gonna add contact form seven, right? So that's the one we're going to install. This is the one contact form seven. So I'm just gonna click install now and wait for it to install. I hope my voice is very clear. Once it's in installed, I'm gonna click activate. And once it's activated, I'm gonna refresh by clicking dashboard. This is contact. I'm going to go to contact forms. Now this contact form one is by default there. So I'm going to remove this or you can use this same one. But for me, um, I'm going to show you guys how you're going to create a new form. If you've already got a form that is, that's been created, um, uh, the, the technique that I'm going to show you and the plugin I'm going to show you we, we're using can be applied on that form as well. So you don't need to remove other forms. So this is going to be my contact form page. So we're going to use this form on my contact form. So by default, you can see it's got a label your name, uh, which is by steric means it's compulsory. So I'm just going to put, uh, I'm going to change the label to name, then your email. I'm going to change the label to email and put steric. It's still compulsory. Subject also compulsory. And then your message is, is saying, to be optional but i'm going to put a steric here and i'm going to add another field here which is going to be our mobile number so i'm going to put it required i'm not going to put any default value and i'm going to insert so i'm going to put a label here as well where is the label 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 label, label. okay don't doesn't have any label i'm just going to copy uh paste and then i'm gonna uh, close the label tag otherwise it's got it's going to give me um an error so i'm going to put in down mobile plus whatsapp that's the new way to communicate so it's it's not compulsory i'm not going to make it required and this is how my form is made if i go to mail you'll see uh it's got uh, i'm going to save it then it's going to show me that telephone uh, option here as well so i'm just going to say uh, mobile slash whatsapp and then click on telephone I copy it and I'm going to paste it here. So all that information when it's going to be email is going to come here. So I'm going to save. I'm just making this one. So you know the form is made uh, is done by default. So I'm going to go to my pages. I'm going to call this form and show you how it's, it's done by default. For those of you who have already uh, made the form, you guys can uh, show a little bit of patience for those ones who doesn't know. So I'm just going to go to elementor this is a free elementor you can use free elementor or you can use any theme or and you can call that by a short code so i've already made this page i'm going to delete this one let it load i'm going to delete this one so it's just plain title contact i'm going to go to my elements i'm going to write down contact form 7 and drag it here 
and I'm going to select my form. So by default, you'll see this is the form that comes in. So it's in vertical format. That's the one that you guys most probably know about. Now I'm going to go, this is where the actual crux of the tutorial comes in. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to dashboard. Plugins, install plugins. I'm going to add a new plugin. And I'm going to search for ultimate add-on for contact form 7. So that's the name of the plugin, ultimate add-on for contact form 7. This is the one ultimate add-on for contact form 7. It's by Themefic, F-I-C. And it's you need to do, do check this if it's compatible with your format. I've got the latest WordPress in and it is compatible with that version. So I'm going to install it and wait for it. Depends on your hosting and your speed of your hosting that if this will work. Okay, now I'm going to activate it. Once you'll activate it, it's going to show you a pop-up where it'll ask you to add in different plugins or you can activate it. We want to have a, no, I'm not going to help it. Okay, so this is the ultimate add-on. I'm going to go to settings, API integration, miscellaneous, app integration, MailChimp, miscellaneous, all add-ons. I'm going to see all add-ons. Okay, so these are the ones that it's saying so i'm going to see which ones are active so ai form a conditional column and grid this is the one that we are actually interested in so you guys can explore this uh, plugin as well it's got a lot of very free different uh, plugins as well so for example it's got a booking and appointment form and stuff like that so we'll explore this one uh, later in the series as well so the one that we're actually looking for is this column and grid field this is the one so i'm going to go back to contact forms I'm going to click edit the, the form that we had made. So now you'll actually see the, these new tabs here. So I've actually activated signature dynamic test country drop down other sections. But the one that we are looking for is add column. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. Select uh, put your cursor before the form label. I'm going to click uh, add column. This is where the code actually comes in. So if you're looking for one column, two, three, four, this is how it's going to be right so the first row I'm, i want two fields to come in the first row the second row two fields then a single text area and then a single uh, submit button all right so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to say insert tag so this is the code that actually comes in and this is where our first field code is going to come in i'm going to make it a little bit clearer so you guys can understand uh the code better and you can change it all right so this is the second column it's similar to a table so this becomes easy for you right so this is the first row then the first column then the second column and then the row closes so in the first column we're gonna just cut and paste our name in the second column i'm gonna copy the code and paste between the two columns column code the email so that's the first row that has that's uh, made now I've got a chance I can go back to uh, this add column button and copy the code or I can just copy the whole code with the row and add another row and instead of the name we are now going to replace it with subject matter and then my mobile number here that's done so we've got two rows two columns two columns and then for the text area i need a single column now i can copy it from here but to let you guys know we're going to go add a column and now we're going to add and insert single column so i've clicked insert single column it's got the same structure as before and i'm gonna make it a bunch bunch easier okay so the first row one column and then the row closes i hope you guys are understanding this i'm not making it too confusing now for the submit button uh we can put it in a single column as well i'm just going to copy this one again put the submit button in instead of the text area and there you have it and i'm, I'm going to save it so again i'm going to go through this one so we've made one row 
with two columns uh one column the first one will be name the second one will be email then we've closed that row we've made another row here and we've made another column with subject and then mobile then we'll have a single row with a single column where we put in the text area and then we've got a single column single row with the submit and i've just saved it now we'll go, we'll go back to the contact form here I'm going to refresh it. And you see our code is here. You won't see visually in the Elementor. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go and visit the website. I'm going to go to contact page. And there you have it. That's this is by default in a vertical line. And this is what we've made. So we've made uh, the first uh, column two column layout and then a single column layout and then a subject matter so these stylings you can do either in elementor or you can do customized styling i'm going to add another tutorial to it uh, so for those of you you can customize this layout if you want two columns three columns uh, two uh, if you want three columns then a two column a single one it's up to you, you guys just need to arrange a row and uh, the column code so this is mobile responsive as well because it's basically using bootstrap uh, css um and google based css so if you are using this for mobile version it's going to resize by itself and depending on your field you can add radio buttons in it you can add drop down in it for selecting country you can make appointment forms so and so forth so we will be exploring this uh, plugin more uh, in the near future so do not forget to subscribe click the bell icon and share the video this is dependent on algorithm the more you guys share the more you guys uh, subscribe the better engagement we get and the better views we get so i will be bringing in uh these tutorial again and again with you and we're going to explore this plugin more we're going to explore wp form we're going to explore how you can stylize customize styling of the contact page and i'm also working on customizing the layout without installing a plugin so if you're you're a css uh, nerd and you want to you want to use the css to control your uh, customization styling and the layout i'll show you that as well so do not forget to subscribe again guys it's a great helpful if you could subscribe click the bell icon and follow for more i'll be bringing in uh, future tutorials for wordpress woocommerce uh, shopify web development graphic designing and game development as well we also do stream uh, game videos game shorts so follow that for more explore the channel i am your host ali rator from tekra tv have a nice day i hope this is helpful to you guys and uh, take care bye bye see you guys later please do subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon click this video to learn more please do subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon Click this video to learn more. Please do